Have you ever had a situation that you're looking for a certain worksheet and you could not find it? Let alone if you have a series of workbooks in your directory, how do you know that this particular sheet exists in all this worksheet even without opening it? Well, I have a solution for you and this is how you do it. You start off by pressing Alt F11 to launch your VBA editor on a module. So you can right click, insert modules. Over here, you're gonna paste this VBA subroutine. After that, you're gonna save and close your VBA editor or minimize it. Now to add a button to call the subroutine, go to developer tab. If the developer tab is not available, right click on the ribbon, customize ribbon. In here, make sure there's a check next to developer and click on OK. And then go to developer, insert button and insert the button somewhere at the bottom like this. After that, you can associate that button's action with our newly added subroutine. It's called sheet exist sign ad. After that, go ahead and click on OK. We can rename the text in the button with search for worksheet like this. Now let's perform a test. If we give a sheet name as 738 and click on search worksheet, you can see that one particular worksheet is found with the exact name. You can also put a wildcard at the back with an asterisk and click for search. You can see there's two worksheet with prefix 738. We can also use the contains wildcard by putting asterisk at the front and click on search. Where these tools comes in really handy is you can do a search on the entire directory. Let's say for example, in a directory, you have two worksheet like this. You can search the entire directory for sheet name. Simply specify the directory location like this. And after that, specify the sheet name you're looking for and click on search for worksheet. And there you go. There's two worksheet found on this two worksheet on this particular directory. As you can see, this one here have one here and this one has 629 over here as well. Let's search for worksheet name prefix with test paper like this. And there you go. There's two worksheet on this particular workbook. If you open up here, you can see there's two of them. You can also specify case sensitivity by changing it to true and click on OK. You can find it. But if you change this to lowercase, you can see that now it's case sensitive. As always, if you like a copy of this VBA, please leave a request on the comment section and I'll show you how you can get it.